Al Wassel, the dome that you see behind me, Creator Technology was awarded the contract to deliver the immersive video and audio systems. That was through a competitive tender process. Al Wassel was the center of Expo, it was the heart of Expo, it was the focus of Expo, and therefore the technology and everything had to be at the forefront. Our task was to deliver the technology of the dome. So the technology of dome is two parts, the video and the audio. The video part is that projection system that everybody sees on all the social media and all the press. What nobody gets to see is the immersive audio system that is there, that actually, as we all know, if without the audio, the pictures don't come alive. From the design perspective, Expo 2020 obviously wanted this to be a fully functional, flexible system. So the original concept was just to have an audio system as, as a background foreground music system. And then they soon realized that with their dream of having an immersive audio and video system that they had to uplift the audio to match. CT were already engaged as the contractor to deliver the immersive experience, the technology for it. And so our design became a change to their contract and then they delivered on that. And that's the 27 arrays of Kiva 2 sitting on an Opticore network with Digico consoles and a Fourier 4 mix engine. It was a self-contained system that can be completely operated from the control room downstairs in our Wassel. So during Expo itself, the immersive experience was augmented with an overlay system provided by Agora. Agora supplied a system we designed, which was a L Acoustics A15 central system. In terms of the control side, at the peak of it, we had a pair of Quantum 7s on front of house for the opening ceremony, a pair of Quantum 7s on monitors, a pair of Quantum 7Bs on broadcast, and one Quantum 7 dual engine in the control room directing traffic, and three Fourier 4 frames doing various other matrixing duties. And in the space itself, we also have a VIP suite that overlooks our Wassel. You can't hear the sound system from in there, but you can see the projection. So we take the content from the network, the 27 channels of immersive content, and then we deliver that in a 18 channel version of the 27 channel soundscape via another Fourier 4 frame that gives us local inputs, should they want to host anything locally within that room, and level control. It's been an incredible project to work on and I think the success has been shown by all those smiles and pictures and selfies that people took when Expo was open and soon when Expo City is going to come alive. The best thing is the continuity that's going to go on. We've reconfigured the systems around what used to be a Quantum 7, now a, a Quantum 338 in the control room as the main console. There's still the Fourier 4 in the Pearl Magellus a Fourier 4 doing the local monitoring within the control room itself, and another Fourier 4 doing uh, matrix mixing in the basement for subs and things like that. Various SD racks scattered around the place, all sitting on one big optical network for the input side, and then the output side is a combination of an AVB network and an optical network. There's a second Q338 as part of the stock for Al Wassel, which is used as either a monitor board, should it be needed, a console they can place out within the audience area for a more demanding live event, or for any mission critical event, they can add that console in the control room as a mirrored backup. So the amazing thing of working on this project is, is everybody coming together to deliver a, such a, an iconic building, let's call it a building as much as it's an outdoor dome. Creative Technology had the pleasure of working with the best of, of the best in the industry. That's the construction industry, that's the audiovisual industry. The whole team has then carried on going to produce these amazing events and to keep putting smiles on people's faces.